What's happening, everyone? My name is David, and this is Tippy Bits. And today, I get to bring you something super exciting. It's what's in this box? I've been waiting now two years for this. So let's go into a bit of history. So back in March of 2022, a guy named Ivan on Twitter was talking about building these compute blades which is essentially a carrier board for the Raspberry Pi Compute Module 4. And the idea was you could stack a lot of these together really tightly. Um, it'd have NVMe drives, power over ethernet, and everything you'd really need to deploy a Raspberry Pi in like a production setting. Which I was like, that's super cool. So naturally, I wired some guy on the internet uh, a couple hundred bucks to get access to this, which is the pre-release version, or the release candidate 2, uh, of the blade. About a year passed, um, fast forward to January of 2023, and he finally produces all of the blades for testing and um, just to make sure that everything is developed well. In February of that year, he launched his Kickstarter, and then in April, it was funded with like a million euros. Well, that's super cool. Uh, after it was funded, then we waited some time, and we waited through some more updates, and some more updates, and some more updates. Turns out, producing and releasing one of these things is incredibly challenging, and they came across all sorts of things, but I have the first, actually I'm back or two, so technically I have the second ever team cluster that was ever produced, so let's go ahead, open the box up, and uh, see what's inside. So, the Team Cluster. Team Cluster was basically a way to get access to the blades absolutely first, and it came with four different nodes and a couple other accessories that we'll take a look at. So right behind the box, let's see. We have our Uptime t-shirt, which features course all this wonderful uh, imagery and then on the back is the logo for the compute blade and all the layouts pinouts um, this is really neat so inside the box we have our four different compute blades each of these uh, packages just one of the compute blade modules go ahead and open this up and there we have it. So one of the interesting features is there are actually higher standoffs uh, and connectors than most other carrier boards for the compute module. And that's because uh, Ivan wanted to make sure that these support not only the Raspberry Pi compute modules, but also other compatible boards. It has an HDMI port for getting access to a video monitor if you need it. It has some toggles for uh, the different read-write modes of the Raspberry Pi. And one of the interesting things is it actually has a button on the front um, that can be mapped to do a bunch of different functions. On the back, it has a connector for a fan module. Here we have a PoE module. Um, we also have our NVMe that supports multiple different lengths. We have a little button that helps us flash uh, our Raspberry Pis with the new uh, UEFI or boot priority and that is SD card, USB-A, um, and the USB-C as well as the one that you're gonna be using for flashing. Also, there are these little standoffs that allow you to add on other modules. So for example, there's gonna be a real-time clock module along with several other that may be available for the compute blade. And just look at the boxes on these. Super nice packaging. So those are our compute blades. Next we have our fan modules. So these are so-called dumb fan units. And these dumb fan units, basically what they do is they connect into one of the compute blades and allow you to do pass-through power for these fans. Fan unit is a pretty simple PCB. There we go. The dumb one, again, just is passing through power into the uh, power connector for the fan. 
the smart one is going to have some circuitry here that will allow you to basically program it from either blade. One of these fan units will be controlled by both compute blades, um, or if you've got the dumb one, it's only going to be controlled by one. So we'll go ahead and put that back away. Of course, I have two because two fan units will cool four blades. So here's our enclosure for the um, compute blades. This enclosure is going to fit four of our compute blades. So let's sit here side by side, one, one, two. And then in the back, we have space for our fan units. Super solid. Also, in mine, I uh, ordered some compute modules because I didn't have enough on hand for what I was trying to do. We have a couple compute blade stickers. Oh, uh, some uptime industry stickers. Check that out. Oh, wow. All right. Wow. Okay, cool. So we have, we have like six different stickers. So all this cool swag, which of course is, I mean, what everyone is actually getting their compute blades for. It's not for the compute blades, it's just because we want the stickers, obviously. Then we've got um, all of our little plastic bits and bobs. So there's a little screwdriver in here. And these plastic bits and bobs are for assembling latches. So there is a little latch system that allows the compute blade to slide in and out and then latch in. I am not going to completely disassemble that because we don't need to. Uh, here we've got some more screws for standoffs. Let's see if there's anything else we need to see in there. Another sticker. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, and lots of different screws. And then the final kind of component of the team cluster is the heat sink. These heat sinks are also crazy expensive to produce and manufacture, but really produce the best uh, best heat dissipation for the compute blades. So they sit very flushly on there and um, they're optimized so that they, it's the most height for, that you can still pull air through in the system. These things are just super solid. Slight change of scenery, but that is all for our video today. Make sure to keep up with Uptime by checking out their website, staying involved in their Discord group, uh, while they are working on fulfilling the Kickstarter orders, they are going to move on to distribution here soon. So you too can get your own Compute Blade cluster. Uh, stay tuned as well because I'm going to be putting it all together in a series of videos, how-tos. Um, it shows a little bit more detail about the individual Compute Blade components. So stay tuned. I'm David. This is Tippy Bits, and I'll catch you next time.